Here we go, episode 4 of my ever-grown Nintendo Switch collection, let's jump right in. Two Point Hospital is a great wee tycoon hospital building simulation game. So the aim of this game, as you suspect, is to build and improve on your various hospitals and to cure all the patients and their often comical ailments. It's got such a brilliant art style and it looks and it runs perfectly on the Switch. Often referred to as a spiritual successor to Theme Hospital, if you enjoyed that and you enjoyed various other tycoon games like Rollercoaster Tycoon, then yeah, you'll probably enjoy this game. And then we have Obsidian's The Outer Worlds. So of course I'm a huge Fallout fan and Obsidian made one of arguably the best Fallout games. And The Outer Worlds is an excellent game which shares many similarities to that. So perhaps a little bit more linear than a lot of people thought. It's an open world RPG set in various planets in space that are owned and governed by corporations. So one of the highlights of this game is how you can personalise it to create your own experience. You can execute missions in any way you want and it will have multiple endings depending on what you choose. However, on the Switch port department, they didn't do a very good job at all, and I'm hoping they patch out soon because it's capable of looking so much better, I reckon. Telltale Games Minecraft Story Mode I was pleasantly surprised with this game. If you enjoy Minecraft and you enjoy the Telltale games, then it's a no-brainer. You can get this game pretty cheap and it's well worth picking up. It's a real shame that the Telltale game company went bust, because they were capable of creating some great experiences. I'd say the highlights were The Walking Dead and the Borderlands Telltale stories, but this one's right up there with them, I say. Another one of Panic Button's miracles, Wilfred Stein 2, The New Colossus. So this is an excellent fast paced shooter game, and they did a really good job with the port on the Switch. I will say that I do prefer Doom, but this was still very enjoyable as well. To make another comparison with Doom, I'd say that Wolfenstein Stein 2 is a lot more story focused. So despite looking a little bit blurry at times in handheld mode, you've got the entirety of Wolfenstein 2 on the go, so you can shoot Nazis to your heart's content. Never Winter Nights Enhanced Edition so I won't say too much about this game, because I did a video about it a while ago, where I unboxed it, described it, and showed off some gameplay. So you can feel free to check that out if you want. Set in the Dungeons and Dragons universe, Neverwinter Nights is one of those great old school RPGs. And like old school RPGs, it requires a lot of tactical knowledge and a lot of reading. Somehow performance isn't perfect with this port, which is surprising, and I'm surprised they haven't patched it out yet. But despite those performance issues, I wouldn't say that takes away too much of the enjoyment of the game. And speaking of performance, we have Fast RMX. Now this is a game that's optimised to perfection on this console. It looks and both runs perfectly. It was one of the first games that came out on the Switch and it really showed off the capabilities of the little console. It's a great futuristic racing game that runs at a perfectly smooth 60 frames per second. The objective is simple. You simply race against the AI, online, or in local multiplayer, in gorgeous environments. And with that you unlock new ships and new tracks. So last up today we've got Darksiders Warmaster Edition. So I'm pretty new to the Darksiders series but what I have played so far I've really enjoyed. 
I completed this one a wee while back and I'm planning on jumping in the second one soon. It's a very well ported hack and slash puzzle solver in which you have to balance the forces of heaven and hell. So one of the good things about this port is you get to choose between performance or quality mode. Performance hits that 60 frames per second but doesn't look quite as good and quality mode hits 30 but looks great. And so that ends today's video on my Nintendo Switch collection. If you made it this far, as always, your comments and feedback are always appreciated. Until next time. See ya.